There are new developments tonight in the subway push in Midtown that left a woman critically injured. CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports police say a suspect has been taken into custody in New Jersey. Suspect Sabir Jones is in custody. The 39 year old was caught by law enforcement in New Jersey near the PATH train stop at Newark Penn Station. Police say Jones pushed a 30 year old Queens woman, her head hitting a moving subway train. Then she fell on the tracks. It was Wednesday around noon at the Fifth Avenue 53rd Street station. She is critically injured. Subway camera footage and accounts from witnesses on the platform helped police identify the suspect. Detectives said they had prior encounters with Jones. In Newark Thursday, a citizen recognized him and dialed 911. Police say minutes before the woman was pushed, it appeared the same suspect screamed at a 26 year old man, then broke the man's jaw. You hear about this kind of thing all the time, honestly. I feel like the bigger issue is mental health in, uh, in the city. When things like this happen, we have to double down. Jano Lieber, chairman of the MTA, said Wednesday the city must do more to get people with serious mental health problems into treatment. Subway riders are unnerved by these crimes. What is the government doing for this? I mean, it's unsafe. Yeah. Can we trust? NYPD says subway crime is down. The number of people who have been pushed onto track so far this year stands at 15, compared to 22 for the same period last year. MTA officials tell us they have subway safety pilot programs underway, including entrance and exit gates that are more difficult to jump over, and new platform barriers being tried at some stations. In Midtown, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. We're told the victim of the subway push had surgery Wednesday and remains in critical condition.